time to go to bed. Let's go. What are you Um, so Sean is uh, 17 and a half. He is diagnosed severe autistic. Um, he likewise has a seizure disorder. And um, the where he lands on the autism spectrum is um, pretty impacted for his daily living skills. Good. I am his number one trigger. So um, at that point, we had one-to-one um, -one support for him uh, in the home for all of his waking hours to try and help mitigate the um, impact of having me around him all the time. So um, this is our food cabinet. We have to keep the food that he would normally be interested in locked away. So um, yeah, this is where, you know, things like cereal, pretzels, anything that he might be really interested in. It, likewise, we put things that we don't want him a having access to in the locked cabinet. We've got two of these, three of these, one of these. And he doesn't swallow pills, so we have to crunch them up. In, in February on the 16th, um, he was again in the kitchen and he, um, you know, had never done this before, but he picked up a knife in the middle of one of these aggressive episodes. I don't think with the intent to hurt anybody, but um, his uh, erratic behavior and the lack of control that he has over his body while he's having these aggressive episodes did, in fact, um, generate a lot of anxiety <laughs> for me. We are not parents that just want to push away what's happening with our son. We want to make sure that he's being able to get the best services possible. But we likewise know that his level of need has gone beyond what we're able to provide here in the home.